Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're here, welcome to my channel, Jurassic Collector here, and today I have a video for you. A good one. I haven't uploaded in almost two months, but I'm coming back with the bang because this video is about all of the new reveals at New York Toy Fair just today that were just pictures that were just put out a couple of hours ago and um, that we're gonna take a look at. I'm so excited um, to take a look at these. The stuff, we'll just look at it, um, it's really cool. Uh, but first I just want to point out my really cool Jurassic Park hoodie, I feel like every video I have a new Jurassic Park like clothing I am, but my new Jurassic Park hoodie, it's so cool. Um, unfortunately it's like really small, they sent over like uh, an extra small, and I'm normally like a medium, so it's quite small for me, so I'll probably have to give it to someone. Um, and also look at this mug, can we just quickly... Just Jurassic Park and the sunset, it's so cool. So I will leave a link to these in my description. It's not a sponsored ad or anything, it's just, um, I just got them because I am the brand ambassador for this. Um, like, look at this, it's a Jurassic Park blanket. Like, it's so hard to show you. Welcome to Jurassic Park and it's, It's so cool and it's um, like fleece material so it's really soft. It's one of the best pieces of Jurassic merch I own so it's on my bed and that's where it will be staying. So anyway, without any further ado, um, the links for all of those will be in the description um, and I want one of those as website. As I said, I am the brand ambassador for that Jurassic Park line and I'm really proud of it because this stuff is really, really cool. Um, so there will be a link down in the description. But without any further ado, let's look at the pictures from New York Toy Fair. I'm excited. Every time I do a video, I can never breathe and I get excited. So I just need to chillax for a few minutes and take a breather. So first off, can we, this is just a picture from, these are from Universal's, uh, these are from Universal's booth, I believe, so not Mattel, as Mattel booth hasn't been actually shown yet, and um, hopefully it will be in the next few hours. But this is just a small sampling, I believe, of what's to come, and I'm so excited. So let's just go on so we're not spoiling anything. Um, we'll just start taking a look at the dinos individually one by one. I'm not going to spend too long on each of them because it will take so long to get through everything. Um, but I'll spend a couple of uh, seconds on each. So here's an Albertosaurus. So this is the third one because we've had two battle damage so far. Um, the second battle damage has just been found recently. So that's obviously new. But then we have a third one. But this is a part of the Massive Fighters line. So with the Tarbosaurus and Sarcosuchus. So we have a finally a non-battle damaged of our source, and this one actually looks really cool. Um, I'm really liking the green on it, um, with the red stripe, and then underneath you have this nice cream color, and then the mouth is painted nice pink, the teeth. Um, I actually think this looks really good, so I probably will be picking this one up if it does come out here. Here is just a random baby ankylosaurus. It's not a staff squad or anything, I don't know what it is, it's just... It's just it. I, I, I'm not 100% sure. Not 100% sure what it is, but it's just the baby Ankylosaurus. Um, here is a baby Indominus Rex. Now, in the listing or something on Jurassic Park's uh, Jurassic Outpost's website, it said this was, I think, part of Camp Cretaceous, but I, I don't know. We're gonna just have to wait and see. Um, but it is a baby Indominus Rex. It looks really cute. Um, I just wanna quickly actually also say that um, thanks to Jurassic Outpost and Collect Jurassic, these are the images um, put out by them. There is a picture of the actual toy, so that was a press release shot there, and then this is the actual toy, uh, showing off a Universal's booth. It looks really cool, it looks fun. I probably won't be picking it up, it is similar to, uh, I think it was called Primal Pal Blue, and you could like move and it like meant noises and stuff, and um, I didn't make that up because I felt like it was like, it was like 30 something euros and I didn't need it. I'd rather save my money for some more dinosaurs. Um, so there, here's a Baryonyx, I'm really excited for this one. So this is not just a repaint because there is another Baryonyx, so that would be like our fourth repaint or fifth repainted Baryonyx. But this is a different sculpt, it is a Primal Attack Sound Strike Baryonyx. So we can see the cut out there for the head movement. Uh, the jaw looks poseable like all of the uh, sound strikes which is awesome. And it's actually a really nice colour, I'm actually really liking the colour scheme on it. So it's like a nice brown kind of earthy tone colour. And then we just have uh, like a moss kind of green on top and then we have a light green at the back. And then that's all outlined by like 
it's like a creamy kind of colour, you can see it anyways. Uh, the claws are painted, so hopefully in the final release the claws will be painted. And then we have like a nice red around the eye, and then the eye is painted yellow by black pupil. Um, so there's a lot of colour in this for, you know, just a normal release, so I'm not sure. We're not, obviously, as I said, it's not 100% confirmed to be a um, sand strike, but it is, you know, technically. Um, so that is actually looking really cool, so I do like that we're getting a different Bionic sculpt, and it's not the same one we're painted like 50,000 times. But in case uh, you wanted one we're painted again, here is a here is one. Um, so this is a repaint of all of the other Baryonyx scopes we have, and it's just repainted. So thankfully, as there's the new one, I feel like that new one looks so much better. It looks so cool. Um, so I can't, and obviously that will have your primal attack um, movements and stuff that all of the other primal attack figures have. But here is the another Baryonyx. This is just a repaint of all the other Baryonyxes we have had in the past. Um, it is green as well, so it is interesting that they're going for another green and brown, so that both of them are similar. But um, this one that actually does look cool as well, but it is the same figure we've had already, so I do want to pick up the new one instead, um, the soundtrack. But that, I think this War of Wars one actually looks nice. So um, there's that. Here's uh, the Carnotaurus. So this is very similar to this figure that we took a look at on my channel. Click the link up here um, or here. Um, to watch that I did a review on this. This is the Control and Conquer Carnotaurus and I loved this figure um, so make sure to check out my review. But it's basically the same figure it's just with uh, the, the kind of red has been like toned down and it's like a maroon and it has black patterning instead of kind of like spray painted and it has like a red you can see it like a red kind of mark. So it is sim it is really interesting that they are releasing a repaint of this figure so soon and um, I believe that Toro is going to be from Camper Camp Cretaceous and it is, it is called Toro so it has a name so it's going to be like a character but I think it's really interesting that they're releasing a repaint already and um, especially of a larger figure that's like $30 or $25 or something so that is really interesting and um, here it is a picture of it it's kind of dark so I kind of picked a bad <laughs> kind of picked a bad picture I'm just realizing that now and um, but will I be picking this one up no, because it's really similar to the current one, so, I don't know. If it floats your boat, I guess you could get it. Um, here is a Ceratosaurus repaint, so it is a Roar of Ceratosaurus, and it is so similar to the original one, in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna get the original. Here is the original Roar of Wars Ceratosaurus from um, Fallen Kingdom, uh, Wave 2's uh, Roar of War line. And I'm just looking at it. Ceratosaurus was obviously repainted then 2019 for Dino Rivals, the brown colour scheme. I do have it over there, but it's in the box. And it was a brown colour scheme, and I don't like that. I still have it, and I, I, I have it now in hand, actually, and I still don't like it. Um, so I am glad to see this this repaint actually looks nice, and I probably will be picking this up because it's so similar to this version. They could be, like, you know, male and female, and I think that's cool. So it is similar, and it is kind of hearkening back. Um, to this one, so that is actually cool. I do like this Ceratosaurus. It has been getting a lot of kind of hate, but as you like, look at the similarities. Obviously, the face on this one is just red, but the patterning on the body, like the colors as well, like it's just kind of they tone down the yellow to like a cream, and then there's black or kind of like green patterning on this one. But I actually really like this Ceratosaurus, um, so I am happy to see that, um, and I will be probably picking that up if I do get the opportunity. I think it looks cool, so. Here is a repaint, and um, this is actually, Charlie was released as an attack pack as everyone is aware of last year and there was a lot of complaints that it actually didn't look like Charlie, which it didn't. So they got, Mattel then re-released a Savage Strike Charlie um, earlier on in the year, which I still have to pick up, I actually like that one but I still have to pick up. Um, but then they repainted the old Charlie sculpt from the attack pack line from last year, this is confusing, I know. Uh, yeah, and it looks like the Savage Strike version now, so this is definitely more accurate, and um, so that is kind of cool. So we have like a light green and then like the darker mossy green on the top, then the mouth is painted and the teeth, and then the eye is like a yellow. Here is a repaint of the Attack Pack Dimorphodon. This is a really nice sculpt, and I actually think this is a really nice repaint. It's like a grey, bluey, yeah, bluey grey kind of colour. And then the bottom jaw is sculpted in this same colour as it's painted. Like, it's um. I really don't know what colour to call this. Creamy kind of colour, I guess. Um, but it is like kind of like 
I like really like the way it's patterned. It's like tiger striping or something. And I think it's actually really cool. So I do like that repaint. Okay, this repaint though, can we just take a minute? This repaint is incredible. I am really, really, really excited for this one. And I'm not the only one. In the on Instagram, so people have been really excited when I posted this picture because it looks just like the um, Kenner Gallimai mess. I will insert a picture right now um, of that Kenner one. But this is definitely a callback to that, like 100%. Um, it's it's the Gallimimus Attack Pack Skull. That's my only that's my only complaint. It is the Gallimimus Attack Pack Skull. I have this sculpt like twice, I think. Um, and I don't like it just because um, it's really hard to stand this figure. Like, it's really hard to stand it. It doesn't, yeah, it just doesn't stand. And I highly doubt they were able to fix it on this one because the legs are in the same position. So that is a bit of a shame that they did put that paint job on this sculpt. I wish it was like the Legacy Collection version painted like that because I don't have that one. And also the neck on this one is very straight and it is the same problem on this one. So it's a shame that it's this sculpt, but at least um, the paint job is actually really cool. So I'm not mad at it. Um, I, I will be definitely getting like 10 of them, 100%, 10 of them. <laughs> because it's so cool. I think it looks really cool. Here's an Indominus Rex, I believe. And it has like blue on the top of it and then it like a compy and it like moves in a really like cool way. I saw a video of it. Um, I don't collect the Imaginary stuff, so I won't be picking that up, but it's there. Um, now, this figure is something I just want to like take a minute for because this figure looks incredible. It is the Irritator or the like ir 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 Irritator. I really don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the Irritator or Irritator um, Soundstrike figure. Sorry, my brain just went dead. <laughs> but I think this figure looks so cool. Some people thought it was like the Tsukumimus repaint, and I was like confused because it doesn't look like Tsukumimus to me. Maybe with the sail on the back, but uh, the head sculpt looks, and the body sculpt looks different. But, anyways, I think it looks really good. The paint job. I think it's actually really good. I'm really happy with that paint job. I was worried, you know, sometimes the paint jobs don't go to, like well, and you'll see that in a minute where I'm gonna discuss that with some of the figures, but for this one, that paint job actually works. So it's like a nice terracotta brown kind of color. And then you've this dark blue painted over. And then on top of that, here you have like a really nice light sky kind of blue um, patterning. And that actually looks really good. And um, I actually really like the paint job on it. Then the eye is painted yellow, the teeth are painted. Then it looks like underneath the figure has a it has a white paint for the belly, so I really like that. The only complaint I have with this figure, the only complaint, the toe claws are not painted, so two complaints actually. The toe claws aren't painted, which is a shame, and I don't want this to become a running issue with Mattel's new lineup, but it kind of appears that it is becoming a running issue. Um, so Mattel, please start painting the, even the toe claws, because, yeah. And my other complaint is the, the tail. The sail at the back here, I wish it was just even sculpted in that blue color. Just that, even if it was just sculpted in that blue color, it definitely would help. But unfortunately they sculpted it in the brown color. And it is a separate piece as you can see, and it is connected to the tail down here. But if this was just a separate piece, the top part of the, kind of the sail at the back of the tail, and they just sculpted that in blue, I think it would have looked so much better because it just looks like it just wasn't painted. Which it wasn't, but you know, it is a bit of a shame, but I do love the figure, everything else other than that, so it kind of makes up for it, so I'm not mad at it. I love this, I'll definitely be picking up two of them. Like, uh, I love it. Uh, here's a picture of the face, here's another picture of it from the side. It looks so good in this picture, so good. Um, just that dark blue, and then these light blue, the brown, and the underbelly colors. It really works and it's a really good paint job, so I'm really, really excited for this one. Here's another picture of it and another picture. It just looks so, so good. So I definitely will be picking this paper, figure up. Here's another figure that I am obsessed with. It is the another Soundstrike, the Soundstrike Majungasaurus. This figure we, you know, it was revealed, I think, at the near the end of last year that this was, was going to be coming out. And um, when I saw it earlier today, I was like, like speechless. Um, it's actually really cool. So the packaging, obviously, if you're Primal Attack packaging, and it looks really good in the packaging. 
Um, but it is such an interesting figure. It looks so different than anything we've ever gotten from Mattel or any Jurassic toy. Um, the head is like a weird shape, like I must, like it's literally every direction, but it looks good, I think, it looks cool. And um, the paint job's really cool. It's like a dark green and then you've yellow painted on it. The under jaw is yellow and you've nice yellow patterning. And then you have like a either black or like a really, really dark blue paint around the face and the neck portion. And it just, it looks really cool. And someone actually commented that it looks kind of like the Brazilian flag. And I 100% actually agree with that. I really do see it. So definitely some um, Brazilian flag kind of vibes from it. Uh, the, there is like, I guess these are like feathers, I presume. So um, we have some nice feathering on the tail. Someone said that the feathers are upside down on the tail, but. But if I recall from like the silhouettes that were shown off at um, San Diego Comic Con, I kind of feel like that was the way it was. So I don't think it's upside down. And we also have some feathering underneath here, um, underneath the neck and the jaw. And I think it looks really good. And the detail on the head, we'll get a closer look at the head in a second. Um, but I, yeah, no, I'm really loving this. And the arms are so tiny. I thought T-Rex's arms were small. The size of them arms, it's crazy. They're so small. Um, here's a close up of the head. This figure, I need it as well and um, the sculpting detail is phenomenal like all of them individual scales are really there and they're really prominent um, and they look good and the paint job really complements it when I saw that first I as I said I was speechless but I was kind of like a bit indecisive but I'm loving it I'm really loving it I think it's so cool the eye is painted green with like a black dot yeah so this kind of looks like a dark blue almost like dark purple maybe. I don't think it's black. I think it's like could be like a dark blue kind of color. Um, I think it actually looks really, really good. Here's the back of the Majimasaurus box. So you can see it is similar to Krylophosaurus and how it works. So you move the tail side to side and the head moves side to side. Then you pull up and down and the head moves up and down. Um, both the aerator and the um, Majimasaurus jaw is poseable, just like the Krylophosaurus. Um, so I think that's really cool because sometimes if your jaw like say just on the Carnotaurus, you have to press the button to close the jaw. So if you want to take pictures or anything, you have to kind of like put something under the jaw to keep it closed. So um, at least on these um, soundtracks, they are pausable, so you can open them or close them. Um, then in the corner here, you can see the irritator, or irritator, and the Parasolophus. And we'll be taking a look at that Parasolophus in just a second. Um, here is another picture of the Majumasaurus. Again, look at the detail on the head. Um, it just looks really good. I'm really excited for the Jogosaurus. So, um, here's another good look at the head. Yeah, that's like a dark blue. Yeah, it's like a dark bluey kind of purple. It's not black, it's like a dark blue purple. Um, so it actually looks really good, so I definitely will be picking that up. Um, next up is a Savage Strike Monolophosaurus repaint. I'm really excited to see a Savage Strike Monolophosaurus repaint because only one was released so far of the Savage Strike version, and that's the orange one from Dino Rivals, but that was released I never saw it in Ireland, ever. And so, hopefully this one will come here. Do, but do I love this one as much? Definitely not. Um, it's like a dark gray, mixed kind of green kind of color. And then on the back you have like a mustard yellow, and then like a uh, red. It kind of looks like ketchup and mustard. That's kind of the vibes I'm getting, like someone just threw mustard and then ketchup on the on the snout. I don't know. That's kind of the vibes I'm getting from it. Um, but um, with Mattel, generally, um, all of the paint jobs, like 99.9% .9 of the time, look better when they're actually in the final product shots or if seen in stores. So I still am really excited for this one. It's a really nice sculpt. Here's the um, Mosasaurus uh, repaint. I don't have the original Mosasaurus. It's like the kind of like baby blue with black one. Um, but I definitely don't want to pick it up. But here's a repaint of it, so it is like a, it's kind of brown color with like yellow underneath and then black. And I actually think this one looks good. And it looks similar to the original though, but I think it looks good. And um, I do. Okay. Here is one figure that I was so excited for. I was so excited for this figure because the 2019 Dino Rivals version, um, the Parasaurolophus, um, it just looked so good in my opinion. Um, I love this figure so much, and I still do. It's definitely one of my favorites in uh, my entire dress collection. I think the Teldon did a great job with this. So I was really excited to see the new Paris office. Um, I was really hoping for a paint scheme similar to maybe Jurassic World's uh, the website or Jurassic World Evolution. Um, 
but we're no. We got we're getting a different paint scheme. Um I'm a little bit disappointed, not gonna lie, because I was hoping it is a very like it's a yellow, so the yellow looks identical to this. So I was a little bit disappointed when I saw that. Um and then it has like okay. The toe claws aren't painted either, so and on this one they are. Like look at how much better that makes them look. The toe claws are painted. And then on this one they're not. It just Okay. So it's sculpted in it looks like the same yellow as this one. <coughs> and then it has like kind of maroon paint here and then maroon striping on like the neck and on the back. And then you just have this metallic red here and then on the back. And then there's some on the crest, I believe. If we go back to this last picture, yeah, there's some metallic paint on the crest. And then there. Um, I'm gonna admit, yeah, this really does not work for me at all. Um, and I'm disappointed. It is a different sculpt. I will be probably picking it up, let's be real. Um, it is a different sculpt, because as you can see on this parasol of his, it kind of goes down like, you know, pretty... Sorry, this camera just focused on my face because it has like really good face detection so but like it goes just kind of down like that whereas this version and um, it is different it's a lot more beefier as you can see it kind of it goes up here and then it goes down and it's a different neck this neck and um, protrudes out like so down here whereas the new neck kind of cuts across here so the next like slender or, or on the new one the tail also looks different but I'm not 100% sure I can't 100% comment um, exactly yet but it does look like almost a completely different sculpt the legs I think are the same the arms same I was hoping they would fix the arm because that was my only gripe about this figure was the arm is in a permanent like position like that um, and the same with this one I kind of would have preferred more neutral um, but other than that, like this paint job on this figure I think was phenomenal and it looks so good and I wish I picked up more of these but But on this new one, I'm I'm liking the new shape of it. I think it looks really cool But the paint job really does not do it for me at all Um, oops uh, The paint job really doesn't do it for me at all. So we're gonna have to move on. We have to move on now, but I am a little bit disappointed with this new parish office, not gonna lie And um, I don't know if I'll be picking that up when they come out, I'll probably will end up picking it up because for the new sculpt kind of shape. But and the paint job, like there's no paint even on the bottom of the beak. Can we look? Like under here, there's no paint. There's paint on this one. A little bit disappointed with that. Not gonna lie, it kind of looks unfinished. And like, why is there just metallic red? Just I don't know. Okay, no, I, okay. I just that's probably like one of the only ones I actually really don't like. Um, I just actually don't like that one. So let's move on. Um, here is a repaint of the Savage Strike Plesiosaurus. So this repaint is interesting. It is a kind of like royal deep ocean kind of blue. And then underneath it has like white paint. Um, it is a little bit bland on paint, but obviously it is kind of all painted underneath. Which is okay because on the other, on the Savage Strike version, the paint was kind of like at the top and the same on the Battle Damage. The Battle Damage version just handy here, the Savage Strike wants away um, up there. But um, I love Plesiosaurus, I think it's an awesome figure. But Mattel, um, I prefer the Battle Damage sculpt just because the these are poseable, the uh, flippers, but I still love the Savage Strike version. I have two of them, I think they're an awesome, awesome figure. Um, and I actually, this repaint, um, I want to see more pictures of it, like, because these are obviously prototypes. Um, in these press images, um, but I, I do definitely want to see more pictures of it um, before I properly judge it. But I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, it has like white speckling in the for the speckles on it. Um, but yeah, no, I kind of like this one. I don't know. I want to res reserve kind of judgment on this one until we get more pictures of it because it is obviously a prototype there. Um, so I'm kind of mixed. I'm not sure what to think of this one. Here is a Tyrannodon repaint. So this is. The I really like. I want to say sixth, fifth, definitely fifth. Um, repaint of the Tyrannodon, and I don't mind repaints. 
Um, but I really want a new Pteranodon sculpt where the legs are posable and the wings and the neck, like the uh, Hasbro one uh, from like 2001 or something. Um, so I'm not going to be picking this one up just because I have so many Pteranodons already. Like I have so many of them over there, it's unbelievable. And I just picked up the new Pteranodon attack one a couple of weeks ago. Um, a, a couple of weeks ago and this is just a repaint of that because that has the new flapping action and so does this um, this one actually does look good it doesn't look bad it actually does look good but I just have enough Tyranodons that are that mold you know what I mean so I will be passing on that one but it does look cool um, here is a Raptor repaint it is an attack pack I'm not a huge fan of attack pack Raptors just because of their basic posability I do like my Raptors to at least have neck articulation as well and um, because you can get some really cool poses um, like the Savage Strike version, so I, I'm not really a big fan of the um, Attack Pack version, but it still looks cool. It is like a kind of purpley grey kind of blue, and then like it has some nice red striping on the back, and then a yellow eye. Um, I just I want to see more pictures of this, as I said. I, could it be a Raptor from Camp Cretaceous? Who knows? A lot of these figures I feel like are probably from Camp Cretaceous. Maybe that uh, Parasolophus in the back there is. I'm not 100% sure. <clears throat> Um, but it, yeah, that's the raptor. Sarcosuchus. Um, this one is here. Um, and this one's really interesting because I don't know. This one doesn't look real to me. It kind of looks photoshopped, if I'm being honest. I kind of looks photoshopped because it's like what's going on here with the orange. Like it's so random. And then also here, you can see like a tiny patch of green where it looks like it wasn't Photoshop over. So maybe this is kind of like similar to the paint job they are going to be doing, but they just kind of quickly, it wasn't ready, so they just Photoshopped it or something. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I, I love the Sarkisu because I have it. Um, it's up in the very top of my shelf. I really love it. The paint job looks great. The sculpt is great. Um, but in this version, I'm not loving the paint job, if I'm being honest. Um, it looks... No, I just, I'm not into that paint job, but um, the sculpt is really good, but I love the original one I have up there. Um, but that paint job I, I don't love, but well, as I said, this looks like a Photoshop that we show a way to see more pictures to reserve my uh, judgement. Here is a figure that I am beyond excited for. When this was announced, um, remember in, in my very last video, click here, um, or here, I think it's here, to watch that video where we uh, just got some info that there was gonna be a super class and Rex, but now we have pictures of it. And it blew my expectations completely out of the water. Um, and I am beyond excited for this figure. Um, I love my Super Crossle Rex, I think it's really cool. I have Super Crossle Blue as well, which I also did review um, on my channel. That one I liked, um, but not as much as the Super Crossle Rex. But I think the Super Crossle and Dominus Rex is going to be my new favourite because it looks so good. Like, I'm. Like, the detail on it, it's just. Like, okay, look, just look at this. The head sculpt looks amazing. Um, the eye is like a nice yellow with like a black slit and then in the sockets you have like a nice dark grey paint. The mouth is sculpted in this nice pink colour and then the teeth are painted. Obviously the teeth are actually look really good because um, on some of them like on Super Castle Blue the teeth literally look like marshmallows and I mentioned that in the review. Um, on the Super Colossal Rex, they were okay, but on this one, this is definitely a step forward, but I hope on the final product, the teeth aren't like uh, rounded more. Because that is a big fear of mine, that on the actual final product, the teeth will be like more like blues, and that will ruin it. Uh, because on the actual uh, Destroying Devour and Dominus Rex, the teeth were um, pretty okay. They were decently kind of they looked pretty good, and um, they weren't like, like kind of like uh, softened out too much. They were pretty, pretty good. Um, oops. Um, but on the new version, they definitely on the super cross version, um, they actually look really, really good, and they look really nice and accurate. Um, so here it is in its glory, all of its glory. Uh, just look at that Rex there. Just, we'll be looking at that in a minute. Um, but it just looks so good. The detail is incredible. Um, it definitely looks different. Here's the uh, the Strain of Our version, and I feel like it looks a lot different than this version for some reason. I don't know what it is. This I think this version looks a little bit more menacing because I think the head it goes down more, whereas this one, the Supercluster version, the head looks like more 
kind of branded or something. I don't know. It looks really good though. I'm loving this one. Be super classy. Um, probably, uh, it just looks so good. It literally looks like a statue. It's like statue quality. I'm so excited for that. Um, we're going to kind of speed it up because this view is already 30 minutes long. Um, here it is in uh, hand. This is Tim from Collect Jurassic Post, this picture. Um, the detail on this figure, as I said, look at all of that exquisite detail, the scaling, the feathering, the head sculpt is amazing on this one. The eye, it looks so good. I'm beyond excited for that super colossal release. So I will definitely be picking up that. And um, here's a press photo. So um, I wanna look at the claws. The claws on the actual one, it's hard to see them, but they, they look pretty good. But on the press photo version, they look really sharp. Um, and so do the teeth. So unfortunately we're not gonna be getting that. But you can see the teeth are definitely sharper on this version, um, as are the claws. But unfortunately, obviously that won't be able to release. So that looks like this will probably be the one that will be released because the teeth are uh, rounded more so and so are the claws. So they're not as sharp and dangerous. Super excited for the Cussel Indominus Rex. There's another picture of it, it looks great. Here are some Snap Squads now. So we have the Snap Squad. Um, these look like kind of a, uh, like metallic versions. So we have like an Ankylosaurus, which looks really, really cool. I believe that's based off Camp Cretaceous uh, character. And there's the Mosasaurus. Now the Mosasaurus, the original one has been released just recently in a couple of places. I haven't got it yet. Um, but this looks like just a metallic kind of version and actually looks really cool. And then here, this one looks like a normal version. Like there's a, the Ankylosaurus, but that's the metallic version. And then here, look, this looks like a normal version. So <clears throat> um, again, I think these are based off a uh, Camp Cretaceous character, which I think a lot of these figures are. Here's this Baryonyx Snap Squad. This is a repaint of the original Baryonyx Snap Squad that was also just released in a couple of places, but we still haven't got it here yet, I don't think. Um, but this paint job is inspired obviously by the uh, Soundstrike version that we saw a couple um, a little while back, um, which I actually really liked that, as I said, um, a couple of pictures back. Here is the Carnotaurus repaint. I love this Snap Squad. I have it up there. You saw that there's a video, um, not on this one, but on the older version. But this looks like the uh, Camp Cretaceous inspired one because it does have the uh, kind of bottom marks on the side of its face. And then here is the Triceratops um, Snap Squad, the entire version. That looks really cool as well. Then here is another Triceratops Snap Squad. Um, this version is like yellowy mustard with like kind of like brown coloring. Um, this one looks cool as well, but I definitely prefer this green one. That green one looks really cool. And then here's a close look at those again. And here is a, we're back to toys, uh, like the actual main line. Here is the new Stegosaurus. Now, I was so excited when I saw the silhouette back at SDCC um, for the Stegosaurus, because I thought, oh yes, we're gonna be getting a um, like massive biters kind of style Stegosaurus. So you probably like move the tail and the head moves or something like that. Um, and I was really excited because I was like thinking about the paint job possibilities and I was hoping they'd go with kind of like a Lost World kind of style paint job. Like with like, you know, like a nice green um, for the main body and then like a nice dark green for the plates. But no, and unfortunately not. <laughs> um, here's the, the final one, I guess. It looks so similar to the Fallen Kingdom version to me. So I am disappointed with this version as well. I was so excited for this. Um, so here's the Fallen Kingdom Sexor, and this is one of my favorite toys by Mattel. It's such a great sculpt. It's such a nice size. It's a large figure. Fits in well with, this, uh, with the rest of the toys. But obviously this, it's not the exact same paint job, but this one's a little bit darker than the new one. But it, I think it looks too similar to me to be like, I don't know. I just, it looks really similar to me. Um, like you've nice you've kind of paint here on this and like even on the on the Dino Rivals version I even prefer that than this new one because this new one as I said it's just so similar to this and I have, it's missing paint it's no paint on the um like sails at all or uh, plates sorry but yeah no I'm not I'm, I'm not loving that type of source. Here is the underbody, because I when I when I saw it, I was like, I didn't love the paint job, but I said it, maybe it makes noise, so I was kind of got excited. And then I saw this picture, so it doesn't make noise. So um, it has one action feature. It's not like the Dino Rivals version with two action features. Um, it just it just has one, I believe, because we can see the 
button there for the plate, um, but on this side there is no button, so it's just like the original one, so it probably just uh, does that, which is cool, but I was hoping for a cooler paint job. Uh, then that, um, I love this paint job and I like the Dino Rivals version, but I was hoping for like a kind of different paint job, but this paint job is too similar for me um, on the new one to kind of, I, I, I probably won't pick that one up, I'm not sure. As I said, the final products might look different. Um, here is another picture of it, and there's the Paris Roll Office. So these are kind of like the only two I don't really like in the one picture, so it's kind of ironic. Um, I, yeah, both of these just don't, they're just not doing it for me. Like it just, it has like striping going down it, but it's, as it's just, it's just too similar to this. Um, for me, it really is. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I think it's really similar to the original one. Um, so yeah, there is the Savage Strike Sticky Moloch repainted. Um, it has like a dark grey and then we have a light grey patterning going across. Down in the face we have a maroon kind of colour. The eye is painted yellow with a black pupil and then the horns and the dome are painted white. Then the beak is painted um, like a uh, creamy kind of colour. So there's a lot of colours going on here which is nice. There's a lot of different paint uh, colours. It is the first time the Stiggy Moloch has actually been repainted to not look like the Stiggy Moloch from the film. It's only like that orange kind of brown colour. So it is interesting. Um, I kind of like it, I kind of not, I'm on the fence with this one. I'm not 100% sure. I want to see more pictures of it. Um, so uh, maybe we'll see more pictures of it this weekend or maybe we'll see more pictures of it in a couple of months um, or whenever it's released. But um, I'm not on the fence with this one. Okay, this figure right here on the screen, this. T-Rex, I am beyond excited for. I want to get the name of it up to make sure I'm calling it the correct name, because it has a name. Okay, it's called the Epic Roaring Tyrannosaurus Rex. So I believe it is based off Camp Cretaceous. I am loving this figure. We did see this um, in the last video, as I said, that I mentioned earlier, that also we talked about the Super Castle. We did see a picture of this uh, Rex, but it was a prototype, and it definitely didn't look as good as this one. Um, but this new Rex looks so good. It looks, I'm actually so excited for this Rex. It's different. Um, a lot of people were saying how it looks kind of cartoony because it's meant to look cartoony because I believe it's based off Camp Cretaceous, which is the new animation series um, coming on Netflix. That was, uh, that's what a lot of this toy line I believe is based off of. Um, and this I don't think is any exception. Um, I think it, it doesn't look cartoony. It looks very accurate. I think it looks really, really good. Um, but I think maybe it's the eye. The eyes, if we compare it, compare it to my bite and fight, um, the eye in the bite and fight is quite small. Um, but even if I just do this with the bite and fight, I just think the new one looks so much better. The detailing on the bite and fight was nice. Um, I always thought it was quite detailed, but compared to this new one, it's really not. I really prefer this new epic roaring Transformers Rex, and it also makes noise. So this is the first. Mattel T-Rex since the thrash and throw from 2018 to make noise. In 2019 we got no electronic Rexes um, so I'm so glad that we have an, an electronic Rex back um, and one that looks so good. I, I can't get over it. Um, it just, can we just, we're just gonna look at more pictures of it. This picture is so cool. Um, here is a side view. It just looks so good and to me it looks more like Rexy from Jurassic World than the other T-Rexes do. The other T-Rexes are very film accurate. But this one looks really like Rexy from the, a particular moment in Jurassic World at the end scene. I have it in my head and it looks just like Rexy. Like that looks just like it. Um, here's another really cool picture. The detailing on this though, I just want to talk about as well. Um, here's a press release picture. So that looks so good. Um, but the final product looks even better, I think. Um, the detailing on it is phenomenal. The teeth actually look like a separate piece, um, molded separate piece, and then they just inserted them in. And I prefer that because sometimes when the teeth are actually in the body, they, you know, you can get like kind of paints off and stuff. So it is good that the teeth um, are a separate piece. The detailing on the head though is so much better than any other Rex we've gotten. <clears throat> um, the in the main line, the jaw here is like <clears throat> different than any other Rex as well. Um, it looks kind of has a similar jaw kind of structure to the um, Rex from uh, the uh, Super Colossal line, but this like this T-Rex like has this, the same jaw. The Thrash and has the same jaw, whereas this new Rex kind of like it just has a different jaw piece, and I don't have to describe it, but you can see it. 
Um, but the scales on this one, there's so much more detail on this one. I, I just, there's so much more detail. The, there's like mass, there's like really big scales here. And then and down here, there's some big ones as well. It's a big ones, And then there's some really fine ones in there. Um, and then there's some really cool scarring. And the scarring on this one, I love that picture of it. And um, the scarring on this one, as you can see, is different than the one in, than that Rexy in Jurassic World. So um, I'm presuming it's, I don't know, maybe it's Rexy, maybe it's not. We're gonna have to see. I'm not 100% sure. It's from Camper Cretaceous, as I said, so um, I'm, I don't know. <clears throat> the arms look nice, the legs look incredibly detailed. The feet don't look too oversized, um, nor does the head. The head looks so good, I'm really loving it. Um, down here you can see a slit and that is for the tail. I actually did see it on action on Mattel's story on Instagram So make sure to check out Mattel's story if you want to see it in action um, On Instagram and then you can see a button there. So it is very similar to uh, the um, Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex. This new one basically is like the um, uh, New uh, kind of Taurus by Mattel so you have your button on the tail and then the tail moves like that and it moves the head I believe that uh, it has the same effect with the this new uh, Rex, so I'm really excited. And this head also vibrates on the new Rex if you put it in a certain position. I saw it and it like, was like vibrating. It's really interesting. Um, make sure to check that video on Mattel's story um, to uh, see that. But um, yeah, that Rex, it just looks really good. It's a nice brown. It's not as dark uh, as, as dark as the... Um, Biting, it's not as dark as the Bite and Fight Rex, um, but it's not as bright as the other, uh, like Thrash and Troll. It's like an in-between, it's actually a really nice color. Um, I think this definitely suits it and it looks really good. So I'm super excited for this epic roaring um, T-Rex. So I can't wait for, to see more pictures of that when it actually comes out. And here I believe this is the one of the last pictures. Um, it is of a Triceratops repaint. So it is another Triceratops and it looks to be the same scope as all of the other ones. So it is just a repaint. Um, that is also just a repaint of the Dino Rebels version. Um, so the t the, when you move the tail, the head moves and it roars. And um, that appears to be the same on the new one. So it is like a nice kind of chocolatey dark brown. And then it has bright blue on it. And then some dark blue on the back. And you have more blue on the head. And then the uh, frill is painted and it has a nice kind of ivory color um and yeah that's um i actually apparently like the eye is also um neon green i forgot to say it kind of looks like a really bright green yellow with like a black pupil apparently doesn't want to like it because it's another triceratops sculpt of the same sculpt so we need a bigger one we definitely need a triceratops kind of in the massive buyers uh, size line so for 2021 for jurassic world 3 mattel if anyone's watching this from mattel we please we need a larger triceratops these triceratopses are just too small not only in my opinion but any other fan i've asked they've all been complaining about the size it's just too small and um, when you compare it with a human figure it's just it's a really small figure um you know compared to the stegosaurus stegosaurus obviously was bigger than triceratops but not by that much and um, this is definitely more accurate so that's why i kind of uh, hoping that for 2021 we will get a new sculpt of their triceratops and not just another repaint so let's hope we get bigger triceratops for 2021 but i think this one new one looks okay and then last but not least is one I'm really excited for. Um, it is a, a Truodon, I believe. Everyone's saying it's Truodon. So <clears throat> it looks really cool. And um, I believe it's gonna be an attack pack. It looks like an attack pack because it doesn't appear to have any features or anything. Um, and it looks like it has like one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven points of articulation. So that is around the attack pack range. And the toe claws or anything are painted. So it's probably gonna be an attack pack. Um, I'm actually really excited for this one. It looks just like the paint scheme and the Trudon from Jurassic Park the game. Um, I will insert a picture of that um, dinosaur that I'm talking about right now. Um, but it looks actually really similar to this and everyone's been saying that. So it is really nice that we yeah, Mattel did go for this colour scheme for it. Um, so we've some of that red pink kind of at the end of the tail there. And then that's under the body all the way to like there. And then there is some on the head as well. The eye is like a bee eye, and that's really cool. And it has like it's yellow and a black pupil. And then it looks like it has kind of some feathering going on in the head and the neck and on the back and some black spots painted as well. Um, so that is the Trudon. Okay, so that is all of the current pictures from New York Toy Fair. 
sure there will be some more reveals maybe in the next few days because this was just at Universal's booth. This wasn't at um, Mattel's booth. So probably at Mattel's booth there will be more pictures of new dinosaurs. Um, so we'll probably see them pictures maybe in the in, in maybe later on today um, and leading into tomorrow. So um, I will make a video on those new pictures that hopefully will come out um, of some new dinosaurs that we haven't seen here. Um, hopefully there will be enough to make a video on them. So I'll probably be seeing you guys again this weekend. So um, this is the biggest weekend apart from this weekend and um, the weekend in July that SDCC is on. Uh, the biggest weekend in the Jurassic community for the Mattel line. So I'm really excited uh, to see what else is going to come out of New York Toy Fair. Everything so far, um, like the new species, like the Iterator, the uh, Majungasaurus, the Super Colossal Indominus Rex, that new T-Rex. Um, they look really really good so I'm really excited for those and um, so let me know what you think of these figures um, in the comments down below also that new Gallimimus looks so cool and um, so thank you so much for watching I am um, I'm really excited as I said to see what else is gonna come out of uh, Toy Fair and I will be sure to update you guys so I will see you guys in the next video and um, thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe I just hit 2.7k so thank you so much for that see you in the next video guys peace out Rawr.